welcome back to Garage Garage! Last episode you saw us actually get the pedals and everything done. We tested it out just to see how it would feel. We ran into a few problems with the carb, but we're gonna solve that today because we have a specialist coming in to help us out with the motor. Today, we have a big list. We have a lot to do in a short amount of time, so. Number one for the shred bed, we're gonna modify the Siesta Rosa. The back needs to be modified for the exhaust. It's got too much heat there, so we're gonna get on that right away. And then I have to extend the exhaust because the exhaust is tucked inside there. We're gonna bring it out past that point. Uh, number three, we're gonna add some vents. And then number four, we're going to do a heat shield because there's gonna be wood, blankets, plastic. We'll make something to surround everything and then heat tape it. Uh, and then five, we're gonna dress everything up. We're gonna try and modify the other wheels to fit over it and make it look a little better. This is a test of the emergency advertisement system. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Just to let you know, we got a new build channel. It's called Hoonigan Car Builds. It's actually not, it's Project, project cars. cars. Yeah. Hoonigan Project Cars, and you'll get to see us work on our project cars. It's pretty self-explanatory. This year-long project of putting a Now I have to keep this stupid voice, this camera's in my face. But we'll finally finish the one Jay-Z swap in the S14. Tune in the staff inspections if you want to see me finish this FD. Or this one. Watch me finish the C10 there. Did I mention I bought a truck? Garage, garage, staff inspection, maybe some new shows. Who f knows? But if it's a build, it's on this channel. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is cut this stuff out because the exhaust is right here and we need to have some place to vent that out and also keep the heat away. But while I'm doing that, got my man Derek here. Derek's car specialist, he helped us out with some stuff on Gen 10. Actually, last time I saw him drive the shifter car, he's a madman, so got that car going, but now we brought him back to help us with this weird monstrosity we have. So he's gonna get into the engine. I'm gonna try and do this stuff. That's your counterbalancer. <laughs> <laughs> that is your counterbalance shaft. So that balances the engine as it as it spins. Mm -hmm. and that's a bearing that's gonna be have to be pressed into that case, I imagine. Sweet. The outer bearings roach too. Both bearings exploded. Cheap repair or do you have a do you have a cheap engine? <laughs> It. It's toast. Yeah, possibly a bad problem. How was it able to run? I'm not sure it should have been running. You know what it was? Like this, this was broken, oh, right? It was broken. And like this, this could free spin. The balancer wasn't moving, but the water pump and everything, everything else, is, else still is still going. going. That's cool that that plastic gear just sh shattered and allowed everything else to run, but it also sucks. <laughs> we got major problems. Derek's gonna run back to their shop. They're gonna figure out if they could either rebuild this or if they have a spare sitting around that we can use. We'll get her fixed up. <laughs> we'll, be dri we'll be driving it tonight. Awesome. That sounds great. We uh, just heard back from Derek. Derek went back to his shop and him and his boss kind of took everything apart just to see what we could do with the other motor. It's like it's probably not salvageable or it would take kind of a long time to do it. We don't have much time. So they took one that they had at their shop disassembled it, took some of our parts, put it on there, and they're trying to rescue us right now. So I just heard from him that everything is together, and they gave us a little bit more power, a little better clutch, so the motor should be super solid when he gets back here. But I, I wanna start this back section here. Um, basically, I wanna bend something around here to make a cradle to hold this. Also, I wanna do uh, extend the exhaust, so I can do all that now. And that won't be a problem with the motor out. Then we're just basically gonna make some more uh, heat shielding and everything else and we should be good to go. I 
this up. So this goes all the way around and underneath and then riveted that in, so that's really tough. That's what's gonna be our new mount, that's what we had before. I'm gonna pop some more rivets in, glue this stuff together. Oh yeah, and I made this uh, little exhaust, uh, exhaust deal, just to get away from firing into the side of it, just to vent it out. And really there's not too much you can do with that, it has to stay this diameter. Oh, hey, hey! So this is the new Johnny? This is the new bottom end, yeah. See it's got black cases on it. Much smaller clutch on that one. It's and that one's like a beast. steel, like shoe style. It just springs out like there's three, mm -hmm. kind of in a triangle shape, there's three shoes and just springs out. Mm -hmm. And there's no springs or anything to break. So if it does break, one of the shoes will break off and you'll hear it, it'll kind of rattle in there. And it's a super easy thing to change. You pull the drum off, it's three little bolts. Boom, boom, slap a new one on. Sweet. This is the carburetor that goes, that goes with this engine because it was set up the last time we used it was at a race. So it's a, it's a race engine, the thing should rip. But yeah, the carburation is definitely important on these because these engines are kind of over carbureted. There's, if you put a smaller carburetor on it, it would run just as good, if not be a little more responsive. Mm -hmm. This thing should be good. Yeah, let's bolt it on. See yeah. how it does. Sometimes shit happens and then you make it better. This is what we needed, more horsepower. <laughs> Oh man, that's beautiful. I think it's cool. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to bleed the brakes. Sounds so much better. Woo! <laughs> yeah, dude. Sounds good. Yeah, it sounds amazing. And it should just. Oh, oh. Get out of here. Oh. Get out of here. It would be sweet if you had a kickstart on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, thank you so much. No problem. I'm so friggin' pumped right now that I just want to finish this thing. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna finish it. I gotta put the bed back on now that we have the motor and everything in place. And then I'll put, I got the padding to put on the bed. We'll cut that out, make the padding fit. And then after that, we'll try and figure out how to attach the other plastic wheels and make them strong enough to take a hit. So I have everything pretty well attached now. I have two bolts in the front to hold the front end, and then I made these two brackets back here, which bolt in. Then there's just four bolts to take the entire plastic chassis off. So I made this side vent. So that should direct the air into the radiator here, and uh, that'll help out. And as Derek pointed out before, is like you don't really necessarily need like a ram air for the intake, so this should draw in enough air for that. But right now I got Jose over here helping me. We're gonna try and get these wheels on. Well, it's pretty much everything I ever dreamed of. It drives. We can't get on it here because we don't have enough space, but look at this thing.
All right, so she's done. We're gonna go to K1 Speed. They invited us out because they have an open track for us. And that's gonna be next week, but you won't see it unless you subscribe to our new channel, Hoonigan Project Cars. Subscribe, watch this thing shred. We're all gonna just smash into each other. Everybody's gonna get Ninja Turtle onesies, I hope. Cause I'm getting one. Well, I already got it, one. So now it just has to <laughs> I'm getting one. You like we it. have to, right? <laughs> That's a wrap! On three. We're gonna yell when we get project cards. <laughs> <laughs>